so welcome back students now let's come back and do group 5 analysis so basically as I told you in the first video what should we do we are supposed to concentrate in two different things what are they you need to first prepare the original solution after that you keep adding group reagents when you are adding group reagents two things are formed one is the precipitate and one is the filtrate wherever precipitate forms that particular group analysis we have to do right so as we have told first for dilute HCl white PPT second black PPT of second group like that you need to go on doing the analysis and apart from the precipitate there is a filtrate also which is formed isn't it this is what I've thought in the earlier video so that filtrate contains the other the group other than that that pose if the precipitate is here if you are getting a precipitate for the first group the filtrate now precipitate is for group one let us assume now whatever filtrate is here this filtrate may contain what does it contain it contains group 2 group 3 group 4 cations group 5 cations group 6 cations also like that again you will add the group reagent and rule out now when I have to speak about group 5 cations what will I do whatever filtrate I got in group uh, 4 now I have to talk about filtrate only so you are going to take that filtrate yes and you will be adding the H2S to this so you will be adding H2S done H2S gas or H2S pellets done now after this you will be adding this is where your group reagent starts to this filtrate you will be first adding ammonium chloride solid then you will be adding ammonium hydroxide then after that followed by excess of ammonium carbonate this is what is important you will make the solution <coughs> alkaline in nature ammonium carbonate is 3 so this valency is 2 and this valency is 3 so ammonium carbonate once you add all these what are the group 5 cations now as I told you group 5 includes three different cations one is barium plus 2 calcium plus 2 strontium plus 2 so when I add this group reagent and make you're adding excess of ammonium carbonate you will get a precipitate which color precipitate you'll be getting you'll be getting a white precipitate of all the three what are they on the white precipitate as I told you you are adding excess of ammonium carbonate so they will precipitate in the form of carbonates what are they it will come out as barium carbonate white PPT calcium carbonate white PPT and strontium carbonate white PPT so all three come out as white PPT now you need to do the individual test with acetic acid that's the easiest way so like that I'll be picking up I'll be showing you a flow chart remember group 5 cation it includes barium calcium strontium second the group reagent of this is basically when they ask if your examiner is asking what is a group reagent simple if you have to say it is ammonium hydroxide and ammonium carbonate but here we are going to add ammonium chloride also which is repeated in the earlier step so you can pick up all these but ammonium carbonate is an excess done so here they will be precipitating what way white ppt what does the white ppt contain they are going to precipitate in the form of barium carbonate calcium carbonate and strontium carbonate now let us come back and see how should i do the flow how should i learn in the form of flow chart Right. Now we have taken, we have seen we added the group reagent, then I've got white PPT, then I said barium carbonate, calcium carbonate, or strontium carbonate. So this may be a viva question. They may ask you, as I told you in earlier videos also, how, how do the first group cations precipitate? How do the fifth group cations part precipitate? How do the second group cations precipitate? They'll be asking you, examiner may ask you like that. So be very clear when you're answering. Done. So now when I have to come back, and now I've taken the white PPT, just see here. I mean, first I've taken the filtrate of group four, I've added the group reagents then I got white PPT now how will you analyze just common things which I picked up as I told you the first one is barium carbonate the second is strontium carbonate third is calcium carbonate now to all the three see white PPT you've got now you need to analyze whether it is barium or it is strontium or calcium so you take that white PPT in the test tube and add acetic acid done when you add acetic acid just see carefully simple it is this is the ion 
carbon dioxide and water comes out. So first complex which forms is barium acetate. If it is barium cation in the given salt, given uh, this in, uh, uh, inorganic salt given to you, then it is barium acetate. Suppose if strontium is there in the given salt, it will form strontium acetate. Suppose if calcium is there, it forms calcium acetate. Done. So acetic acid, you will take the white PPT, divide into three different portions, three, three different test tubes in the te test tube holder. One, for all the three, you will be adding acetic acid acid done after adding acetic acid as i told you it forms barium acetate strontium acetate calcium acetate done so carbon dioxide water is common now what you're going to do to the first test tube you are going to add potassium chromate to the second test tube you will be adding ammonium sulfate to the third test tube you will be adding ammonium oxalate simple isn't it potassium chromate ammonium sulfate ammonium oxalate done all the three suppose when you're adding the c if you're getting an yellow ppt confirmed it is barium that's a confirmatory test for barium so yellow ppt confirms the presence of barium suppose if you're getting still i mean again you're getting a white ppt just like this but white ppt then you can go and report it as strontium done suppose if you're getting Again, a white PPT, calcium oxalate, right? So, this is a calcium oxalate because you have taken calcium oxalate and ammonium oxalate, white PPT. Done. So, here, most important thing, both are white PPT, how will I analyze? Done. Here, basically, your calcium and barium are those cations where you can analyze during flame test, isn't it? Right? So, you can usually, I already taught you what is flame test, how to do. So, take that, put it in the platinum loop, first prepare a paste of that in the watch glass with heads seal then introduce into the flame i also thought to you what is reducing flame and oxidizing flame there if you get an apple green color flame then it is barium if you get a red color means uh, a tinge of red uh, in the flame then it is calcium so differentiate students once again basically group 5 cations include barium calcium strontium point number one point number two what is a group reagent i said group reagent is ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide and ammonium carbonate excess first what will you do you have to procure step number three you need to take the precipitate which is there in group four take that add these group reagents h2s also is there in this you add those group reagents finally you get a white ppt now your analysis starts in this white ppt whether group 5 barium is present group 5 calcium is present or group 5 strontium is present divide the test tubes into three means divide the precipitate into two three equal halves to the first test tube you will add acetic acid second also acetic acid third also acetic acid done after that and you will be adding potassium chromate to the first one if you get an yellow ppt barium is confirmed you can take re retain that yellow ppt test tube and show it to your examiner she will ask you what is the why is L what is the yellow ppt due to you will see due to the formation of barium uh, chromate ma'am because i have added potassium chromate to that you can easily say that suppose if you are getting a white ppt it is strontium sulfate why did i get sulfate because i am adding ammonium sulfate to this suppose if i uh, get a white ppt of calcium oxalate and i told you calcium and barium can be easily tested with flame test so this is your group 5 cation students let us come back and see the last uh, cationic group that is group 6 right so welcome back students now let us finish off with group 6 uh, anal analysis of uh, basic radicals so when i take group 6 the cation which is present or which comes under group 6 is magnesium so this is the simplest test basically so for analyzing group 6 what is a group reagent here the group reagent which you are going to take is sodium hydrogen phosphate and ammonium hydroxide these two are the group reagents done here what will i uh, do basically i told you in group 5 you have a filtrate which is left out isn't it so what you do is you take the filtrate which is left out in group 5 to that you add ammonium oxalate so whatever is there everything gets separated out now the whatever filtrate you left out now take that you will be adding first ammonium hydroxide excess and then you will be adding sodium hydrogen phosphate both together once you had let's see suppose here i am testing for magnesium here the salt which anion which i got is chloride now to this magnesium as i told you 
I'll be adding sodium hydrogen phosphate. Then I'll be adding ammonium hydroxide. Nothing simple. You will be getting a white PPT, right? So what is that white PPT due to? Let's see. So magnesium ammonium phosphate is a white PPT. What is that? Magnesium ammonium phosphate is a white ppt left over is nacl and water here what is this nacl how much is nacl 2 so i have written 2 the white ppt is because what is this name magnesium ammonium phosphate so here when your uh, teacher is asking you a yy question you can just say what is a white ppt due to this is a compound so this particular white ppt confirms the presence of magnesium so you will write <coughs> result after all these finally after analyzing all the groups you'll write the given salt in organic salt contains or it, it it has or you're going to report the given salt contains the basic rad, uh, first acidic radical so and so let it be carbonate acetate phosphate sulfate like that acidic radical in the bracket and basic radical so and so so the given salt is completely you'll write magnesium chloride so calcium sulfate barium sulfate lead chloride lead acetate lead nitrate barium nitrate like that so finish off your answer with the result result really matters so st students this is your salt analysis i did from zero group group one group two group three group four group five and group six also now i'll be after once you watch all these we have kept it in the playlist of salt analysis in my channel so you can go to the playlist check salt analysis it is also there in the community tab all the thing i have posted all the anions i have posted all the cations i've also given you flow chart of anion and cation but now i'll be giving you one more flow chart which will be very useful for cation analysis so thank you for watching watch the flow chart which is coming up and i'll be meeting you again with next practical experiment function groups after that i'll be doing volumetric analysis very soon